What is going on, cave dwellers? What's up, peeps? How's everybody doing this evening? Uh, if Jackie's still here, um, appreciate you coming on and just making a comment and enjoy your trip. Linda, how you doing? Put me in your suitcase. <laughs> well, it's going to be, this probably should be a quick live tonight, but we wanted to come on, obviously, every Wednesday night we're here, 8 p.m. Um, what's up, David? How you doing? We're going to discuss this past weekend, which was awesome, by the way. Um, hey, always, Linda. Always a good time when we go visit Scott. Always a good time. What's up, David? How you doing? Got my gift from Scott. Perfect. Yes, we did. Uh, also, we did we did receive your card, David. By the way, what's up, G Seven? How you doing? Uh, of course, happy <laughs> we can we can get those gifts out. And big thanks to Scott for giving us the gifts um, and allowing you guys to win them. Um, he was just like, "Let's give stuff away, give stuff away." I'm like, he "Woo!" Let's so take a second here. <laughs> he so excited, but he was so excited to, to give you guys some stuff. Um, it's pretty awesome, especially because he's you know he signed it and everything, and uh, he's the Camaro God. He's, what's up, Keith? How you doing? Um, <clears throat> so Saturday Live was great. We appreciate you, Seven. Uh, there'll be a lot more. Neil, for Neil, sure. Right? Yes, Neil, Neil. Neil. Yep. There'll be a lot more. Uh, a lot more coming. So we're excited about that. Um, I'm glad I gave out my wish. Yeah, we do appreciate that very much, David. Thank you so much. You didn't have to, so we do appreciate it. Um, but the love of the Camaro community, we couldn't be more gracious. <coughs> Best live ever. You were funny, Andy. Well, I you know we we were Scott for, Scott provided the drink, so we had to we had to have some fun. Uh, shout out of the cannon for sure, for sure. Um, but we were we were with him all day um, for two days. Right. Um, so it was nice. Uh, we got there around noon. Uh, and obviously we stayed over. So he's just, you know, there's so much passion in that man. And, and uh, it's it, it's hard to live up to the hype that he, le that he left behind. Um, so but and, and that, that's why it's hard to, to see Camaro, you know, coming coming back. Um, as sad as it is to say that, um, just a lack of uh, enthusiastic enthusiasm from people within GM, um, unfortunately. But um, yesterday <clears throat> was our anniversary, so appreciate everyone that reached out to us and uh, wished us happy anniversary. Um, actually, check out what Tonya got me. I had to just show it some love because this is a unique piece and it's been on back order so it does have the camaro collector's edition this is official gm it's leather and uh, it does have the cat the panther on it from the collector's edition um so i had to give her a shout out for that because that was an awesome gift um yes uh, very cool it's a uh, it's been it's been on back order for a long time um when did you get this thing before Christmas. She ordered it before Christmas. I had to hide it from my own self. Uh, so I wanted to give it to him before today or yesterday. Yeah. But I hit it. She did. She did a really good job. And I gave job. myself a reminder in my calendar where I hit it. Yeah. So for people that haven't been following, <laughs> um, we've we just been dropping stuff left and right. We said on a teeper. I know. I know. I know. I'm a Can't go wrong there. Have to agree, um, <laughs> but we dropped that finish line edition from Kuwait. Um, oh my it's, it's been getting a lot of uh, intention, apparently. Um, some backlash, of course, as we, as normal. Um, Everybody's going crazy. Let's all head to Kuwait for seven cars. Um, but we again, we do have to thank Muhammad for sending this over. And if you haven't seen yet, it looks like the Camaro community is taking off with the story. Because GM Authority just posted all about us um, and took our article and gave us credit. So we do got to give them credit um, for sure. And then Camaro, Camaro Fest has been posting it now. Lethal, um, if he's on here, thanks for posting our pictures. Um, appreciate it. 
And, uh, you know, that's what we're here for. We're here to bring you guys the most accurate information at the time that we get it. Um, and yes, we're still trying to verify if this is a real thing. Um, but clearly, uh, well, we, it's real. We got, we got, it's we, there. it's there. We got, we got a lot of evidence pointing whether, that it's the real deal. Whether uh, it's GM certified or allowed, we don't know for sure. So, so clearly what people but don't it definitely exist. Yeah. What people don't understand <laughs> is that different parts of the country have different Chevrolet global marketing companies. Um, so <clears throat> once they make the card, all, first of all, all Camaros are made in the United States. There is no other plant besides lands in grand river in Detroit, in Lansing, Michigan that made Camaros. So, there's no Camaros being built in Mexico. There's no Camaros being built in China. There's no Camaros being built in Holden, Australia. All Camaros were built in Lansing, Michigan. So the number for the 2024 model year, 12,870 cars, all built here in the United States, in Lansing, Michigan, for people that don't realize that, um, and then are shipped all over, well, apparently to Kuwait now. Um, and then the local marketing team in Kuwait decided to make this edition. Uh, same thing with Brazil. Brazil. Same Japan. thing with Japan. Uh, or anywhere else that we exactly find all these editions turned up were bit were made in those local communities. So they're trying to make the most most money possible on the last of the cards, right? Um, so that's what happens. Uh, I liked how some someone said they built the Camaros in China. I saw that too. Um, that's why we're addressing these issues because there's a lot of misinformation out there, and whether people want to like it or not, or not, they're not building Camaro anymore. Some people still think they can take orders. Um, Camaro is over. The last car came off the line December fifteenth. And you cannot order a car. You can't even go on Chevy's website, um, which, you know what? <laughs> I just feel like maybe we just need to share it with because this is the Chevy website, 2024 Camaro. There's no build in price anymore. There's only inventory, specs, and accessories. So you can't build it anymore. Once you click inventory, clearly you can go through the inventory that's still left on the market. Again, as we said, there are not many left. Um, obviously, all the Panther ZL1s have been sold. The Garage 56 editions have gone. Um, now, there are some going to auction. So people are like, well, you can still get one. Yeah. The dealers that are charging over MSRP that already sold them and then are going as an auction item or the ones that are on eBay that I already purchased from the dealer and now they're selling them as a markup. That is a big <laughs> deal. So just keep that in mind. Camaro surprises again, hundred percent Keith. It's, it's just crazy. Camaro legend is still delivering surprises. Yeah. Yep. hundred percent David. It's just, it's a different world we're living in. Um, but even though Camaro has been done since December, still hitting us with surprises. Um, we we're just ha happy to be here and bring you guys the most accurate information and uh, keep the brand alive. So, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us. Feel free to <laughs> jump in in the comments. If if you like what you're hearing, don't forget to show us some love. Smash that like button, of course. Um, we got Camaro uh, Tonya's Girl Cave coming up next week again. Uh, so I know a lot of people really enjoyed that. She enjoyed it. Um, went, went a lot longer than I thought it was going to. A lot longer than I thought it was going to. Yeah. But we're seeing a lot of positive about that. So that's cool. Um, what else we got? Mm -hmm. Obviously, every Wednesday night we'll be here. We got snow. We got some crazy weather. In we're, spring. We got more mods arrived today for our Panther. Um, what's up, Sean? How you doing? So we're excited to start posting videos of our car once we get it out um, and start doing some racing and shows and driving all over the place. You know, you know, it is. Uh, 
How how about you two stop acting? By the way, thanks for the email with that info we talked about. Linda, thanks you for the email. Um, we are we are trying to reach out to a bunch of companies um, like Hendrix and um, Special Vehicle Engineering uh, about going down to see some Yankos getting built um, on the dyno. So we we do have some plans to go check them out as well. I'm going to call you guys someday when I can see. I'll be close to Jersey heading back to get my bumper this weekend. Yeah, give us a buzz. We'll, I think we're around this weekend. Mm-hmm. We are. Woo woo, Richard. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for joining the Cave Dweller family. We really appreciate it, man. Um, now, of course, we we do have a bunch of stuff too that we're we're going to be giving away. Um, we got some more Camaro merch to be giving away, um, and of course, every time we go see a uh, retired or current GM employee um we get, we'll, we'll have some stuff to give away as well so we really appreciate that richard thanks for joining the joining the membership here and uh, as always uh, any questions feel free to email us we definitely want to show off your cars too if you guys saw the the latest um interview we dropped uh, literally we were driving home from scott's um and we we checked out uh sean's car uh which shark skin shark, shark skin looks really good in the light um, and uh, he's he has a rare bird, uh, one LE, two SS one LE, shark skin metallic with a couple extras. So he's 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 sorry, guys. Um, what are you doing? Sorry, our, our cat's like going nuts. Our, our <sighs> cats are being like, What's wrong with you? Why are you being a douchebag? Pippi can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Love the cats. Um, yeah, no, we were shocked to see a Panther edition on the lot uh, <laughs> going for MSRP, but uh, those numbers are dwindling, guys. There's almost no 2SS Panthers left on the market. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, there's no 1SS Panthers anymore. Uh, all of them have been sold. Bernie sent me a letter from the archives and said that it's one of one. It's because you got that center console lid, man, and the LPO Camaro Camaro emblem on the side. So glad we could help you out with that. Um, and and uh, yeah, definitely. Once you get the letter from him, frame it. Um, definitely, he's, he's such a good guy, and uh, he was actually on our live with Scott. So it was nice to see him on there. He was. Yeah. So but, so was two of the disciples yeah so if people don't know when if you watched the live with scott um there were actually some camaro disciples on the live um so they were the first to see the fifth gen cars um when they when before they unveiled them um at the milford proving ground uh so that's pretty cool oh you're very welcome sean so i'm glad we can we can assist you and uh, i'm glad you liked it but uh, yeah, it was pretty cool to have people that, you know, are big are big wigs or, you know, Camaro enthusiasts that were part of bringing these cars to life. Um, you know, watch us, follow us, and uh, join in on the conversation because it, that's why we got to keep the Camaro community alive. You know, I think I could stop sharing this picture of the Camaro. There we go. But yeah, um, actually, I think I can bring up if people didn't see in the video or didn't watch the video uh, of our cars. I think I can pick, I can bring up pictures from the edition. Uh, let's see if we can do this here. Data edit. Here we go. All right. I don't know why that just happened. February, January. I'm trying to open these damn things. Oh. Is it what does it what does everyone think about the finish line edition? By the way, if you guys watch the video, uh, here we go. Uh, 
I don't know if that if that helps. <laughs> David says he loves it, wants one. David wants one of everything. Yeah. All right, can you guys see that picture, by the way? Because it's not showing on my screen here. But if you can see that picture, let us know. I like it does that. Discovery changed the production numbers. No. Nope. No. Again, all the final model year. Everything is was built in Lansing, Michigan. There's only 12,870 cars total worldwide. So it's kind of it's, <clears throat> it's kind of crazy. Uh, I think it is pretty neat take on Camaro, the history of Camaro. Yeah, the L1. Yes. So the picture that you're looking there, the Camaro Finish Line Edition, is the L1 um, in Riptide Blue, one of two over there. Uh, that Muhammad owns, um, and that was a manual, by the way, uh, six speed, and it's just, it's just pretty cool. Pretty cool to see certain things um, that people don't really know about. You know, whether it's here or overseas, it's kind of special. I want a fifth gen Z01 to go with the Hulk. David, you already got a fifth gen. You should step up to sixth gen, man. Come on, you could do it. Leave him alone. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the fifth gen, but he's got a fifth gen. Uh, but we'll be doing mm -hmm. um, a video of our GM archives synergy ed uh, edition, just going over the numbers soon, um, maybe tonight. But we're we're doing a little cr a little crazy thing here. We're actually we're uh, we're both fasting today. Um, it's kind of crazy. Don't recommend it. <laughs> this was your idea. That's my idea. I take it back. I haven't eaten anything today. And it's she's all crazy. It's like let's past eight o'clock, eight o'clock tonight. Let's do a water. Not a good fast. idea. All right, let's do a water fast. Nope, he's dying. Trying a water fast. He's dying. I haven't had. I I had to break it in. I haven't had coffee today until I just had an espresso shot. What I don't know. 20, 25 minutes ago. Um, couldn't do it anymore. No willpower. Uh, no. I, I so I just made an espresso and I, I had to have it because. This, a free, this will be the first day without coffee since I was like two years old. Um, can't do it. Can't do it. I needed it. But I didn't add any milk or sugar or anything, so it was just a freaking shot. Hopefully it helps. But I had a huge headache all day. Um, but, yeah, so we're trying it for at least three days. We're going to try to make it. Um, but don't recommend it. You would have caved tonight. If it I definitely would have caved. I'm, I'm starving. You I want some food. Caved. You would have caved. You would have, like, not on a whole chicken. Mm -mm. Don't take my coffee. 100%. I am a <laughs> coffee fiend. I will. At least, at least I have one every morning. I have to. Otherwise, caffeine headache right behind my eyes. Um, uh, but I would have at least at least two cups a day. At least. If, if not three. It just depends. Um, but, yeah. But uh, if you anything you guys want to talk about, want to know about Camaro, definitely post in the comments. We'll answer all your questions. Um, yeah. So, what do you know? What you're going to be talking about for Girl Cave next week? No, not a clue. No, she, she doesn't know yet. What's up, Gypsy? How you doing? Whatever the girls want to talk about. I did a three day water <laughs> fast, but on the second, the third day, I had broth for dinner. Now, see, I heard that was okay. We actually thought about that. Um, it's not okay, but it was better than you mowing down on an entire chicken or cow. True. So, however, <laughs> on this water fast, though, I am doing my protein shake in the morning because I, I, I just can't. Um, but it's just pro protein, my peanut butter powder, and um, cocoa powder and greens, uh, green powder. So that's what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> and it's better than doing nothing. Cause I don't think I could do just nothing. <sighs> uh, Bill says, Hey, by chance, do you know how many <laughs> manual Panther editions were made? We actually did a video of all the manuals and automatics and a breakdown by trim level. Um, I'm sure I have a paper somewhere. Um, or if you just want to go find the video, find the video and um, see the whole breakdown. I did it. a breakdown of automatics versus manuals in every single trim level. Um, 
So, but we've done too many videos to remember what the numbers were now. Yeah, there's a lot of numbers. Obviously, only 1,335 Panthers total out of 12,870 cars. Um, so, it's, what is that? Like, less than 10%? Like, it, it's, it's crazy. Um, and then once you get down to the actual numbers and how many 2SS is, like obviously 2SS, they made, for coupes, they made 405. Um, for convertibles, it was 158 for 2SS. Crazy, I remember these numbers, but I'm not like Scott. Scott can remember every number under the sun. And Scott got that stuff. He back. he's and he just looks at a picture. She he's got, like, "That's a 1978." I don't know how he knows it, she but got he's her, her gift from Scott today. Oh, that's nothing. I think I have about four large coffees and two cups of tea. That's a lot. I mean, I would love to join you on that today. I would. Uh, Keith wants to know. Was there was enough interest, interest in we, the you need to make the... to make um actually I don't know. I don't know what the if anyone knows what the um what the hell was it called? Survey? The survey was. I don't know what the final numbers of the survey was. I didn't see it before I ended ended the live. I should have. Um but I hope there's enough interest because I mean I know I'm gonna like make well, like maybe we have a bunch to... for myself. <laughs> The poll was like 35 shirts. Hmm. Well, 35 doesn't get it done. We need over 50. Uh, but I'm sure multiple people are going to buy multiple ones. I mean, we need just, a sign up sheet. Yeah. Yeah. We, need to do a sign we up are sheet. clearly we're doing it. Um, let me, let me grab the shirts. So you guys, if you guys didn't see it. Um, but how do we do a sign up sheet? Can we do a sign up, an electronic sign up sheet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we can do it. I mean, it, we, we really just wanted to get Scott's blessing on the shirt um because we're using his name we're using his saying um and and you know we want we want to make sure that he approved um but clearly he did because he wore the shirt two days in a row uh, <laughs> uh but let me get let me grab that for you guys uh just read the comments babe <clears throat> Most of us are going to order more than one. Yeah, most likely. So we did get a lot of offline comments. Wow, oh, babe. Earthquake. Earthquake. Walk much? I know. Um, we did get a lot of offline comments, mostly from the female types, that the white would be a little rough to, to deal with with girl parts, um, which is which is um, true. <clears throat> Girl parts would be hard to do with that. And also it would be really kind of rough to detail a car and all that. It would probably get dirty really quickly and whatever, but we are um, confined to kind of one color. So we're thinking of doing it in gray. We can't do red. We can't do black. We can't do blue. We can't do any, anything like that. So we want to keep it generalized, something that everybody would want to wear. So we figured gray because gray, this will all still pop on it. And gray will be a little less showing of dirt. It'll be a little more forgiving. So we got the Camaro Cave logo with the Panther in the logo. I don't know if, if you guys mm -hmm. realize that there was a Panther in the logo. Um, and then obviously keep the faith, Scott saying, and then Scott's name. Of course, um, but we are thinking about gray. Um, so a light gray, like yeah. the heather gray, not the not too dark because we don't want it to take away from Scott's name and not the dark everything. gray. So we so are going to do a test, gray. a test Hi. of that. Are you um, like, and then we'll bring it to you guys on, on like the next live or so. Uh, four mm -hmm. three X uh, XL. Are you gray, off please. your catnip trip? Now, do you guys want this? This one is the dry fit. Cause I thought, you know what, dry fit would be better if you got people are, are wearing it during, you know, detailing a car outside of a car show. Um, so this is a dry fit. This is a little bit, a little bit more expensive, but it's like three or four dollars. Yeah, it's three, three or four dollars more um, than the cotton. Than the cotton, uh, or if you guys want the cotton, but we do, we are gonna need to know like 
one or the other. Um, but I think, that, I mean, let, you know what? Let, I'm just going to throw a poll up right now uh, and see what see what we get. Hey, people, people want to be engaged. Okay, you and your polls. Excuse you and your, look, babe, the cats are down off the catnip picks now. I know. Uh, Can you not have your butt in my face? Don't sit on your sister. <clears throat> okay, here we go, guys. Let us, let us know what you think on, on that one. Not that you pay attention. What? To the polls. I, I, I didn't. I you didn't, take all I didn't these look at and it. Then you just well, you know what? Because because it, it disappears once the. You have to open it before you close out the I thing. <sighs> Wally right. Wally Gator wants cotton. Okay, hit the polls, guy. Hit the polls. <laughs> and then here here is the cotton <laughs> T-shirt. So, um, of course they're they're gilding, so they're soft soft style. Um, we got a hundred percent cotton. So if you guys are wondering, like if you want a bigger size and then clearly if you wash it now, these, from what we're told, all these shirts have to be washed in cold water inside um, out, inside out, uh, to keep it, inside out. you know, the, in the best quality. Uh, and I probably would like lay them out to dry. Don't, don't throw them in the dryer. Yep. So this is this is a oh I, I don't know if you can let it see, but this is a large. Clearly, I'm I mean I'm five six, so the large is good for me. Uh but here's one here's what the cotton is. Um, but we are doing a, a, a test on these, so we're gonna we're gonna wash the shit out of them uh, a couple of times. Sorry, really, for the language. and I can't but see what I said. we, we want to make sure you guys are getting the best quality, so we are gonna, you know. Wash and rewash and try to make sure that you guys, when you buy one, you're getting something that's going to last for a little while. Um, so we are testing them for you guys, too, before we just push it out because we don't want to sell something thing, baby, with Scott's these, name on it. People with allergies, yeah. these are going to be a problem. So that's why I was, I was thinking mm. the same thing as cotton. Okay. Uh, looks great. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to our guy, see if we can do... You know, out of the out of the fifty shirts, if we can do both, like half, and um, half. half and half, um, we'll talk to him about that. Which I'm sure he would. He will. He was. He was super excited to do this. Um, and literally, he's, he's what two minutes from our house, so uh, would be great. Great works. Looks great. Great would be fun. Entertaining. Perfect. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Wally. Andy did have some cocktails on Sunday. Scott just kept them coming. <clears throat> hey, he's he spoke my language. He had that gin in it. Uh, Scott was uh, Scott was killing the apple juice too. <clears throat> All right. All right. So we, we got that. We got this. But really cool. And again, we have to thank Scott for allowing us to do this um, for you guys. And if you guys if you guys have already purchased anything for for us, um, or have you checked out our shop? That's in the description of this video. Let us know. Send us an email with the pictures of our our gear. Uh, we would love to see it. A little gin and juice. Uh, I try to keep it classy, you know, pinky out, gin and tonic. Um, but so, what's going on, Mark? How you doing? <clears throat> Appreciate you joining. Let's see what the poll is at right now. All right. We got we got 50-50. Wow, 12 votes right now. 50, 50, oh, cotton, cotton just took the lead. Cotton just look, took the lead. We'd love to wear it to Camaro Nationals. We would love to see you there, Neil, at Camaro Nationals because we will be there. And you know what's going to be awesome? That once people get these shirts um, and then see Scott at one of these shows, and, and oh, a huge picture with everybody. Oh my god, was. like imagine you taking a picture with Scott Scott's t shirt on and him there, and then him signing your shirt. Uh, I, I mean, that's a, you can't get any bigger than that. Um, it's pretty crazy. Any news on the Radiant Red Hendrix cars for sale? So, um, <laughs> what's funny is no dealership has reached out to us about them yet. Um, however, we do know the ZL1 is his private car. He's keeping the ZL1 coupe. Uh, the convertible, 
We don't know what the story is with that, if he's selling it or not. The rest of the 38, most of them, most of them are going to his friends um, for sale. And then um, obviously Jeff Gordon has his name on one. Um, So really out of the 38, there's probably like 25 available um, to the public. Um, But we know that nine of them were one of these. It was eight or nine. I believe it was nine. Nine of them are one of these. Gotta coordinate, Gypsy. Gotta coordinate. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Al? How you doing? But um, once we get more news, we do, we do know obviously the the starting price on them is in the, is in the sixties, so sixty two to sixty four um, before they add the Hendrick edition. But all the cars. First of all, there's no photographs of them online. <laughs> all of them have were shipped to the dealerships and then took from the dealerships and sent to Hendrick Motorsports um, to get outfitted. So that's where the cars still are. That's why you don't see any um, for sale or well, I mean, they're they're listed on the websites, but then you contact those <laughs> dealers and those dealers don't have the cars because they're all at Hendrick Motorsports right now getting outfitted. Um, and then once they're done, which I think they're just going to do a one batch because th- Let's be realistic. They're shipping these cars back and forth so that they have no miles on them, right? Um, and that takes a while, uh, especially if the if if they're debadging the cars off the bat, right? And then they're adding new badges to them and adding all the vinyl to them. So it's not something that's just like mm-hmm. hop on and off. Um, plus, then you got to get all the floor mats made, all the trunk mats made, um, and what, the probably hardest thing out of the entire package is the embroidery on the Recaro seats headrest. Um, hey, Cause you got, you got to do that all as well. That And that's just not like, here, let's take all these headrests out of all, all um, what, 40 of these cars. Uh, and take them apart and yep. embroider them and then put them back together. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as soon as we know more about the Hendrix cars, we've been waiting to post the locations um, just to since until we hear, um, you know, the pricing and everything, because everyone knows they're out already. Um, but we don't want to be we don't like to post stuff if we're not correct about it, clearly. Um, so that's why. All right. We got 15 votes on the poll. Uh, if anyone else wants the shirt, it's only 15 votes and there's 21 people watching. So. Uh, all Camaro cave dwellers need to wear the F body shirt to Camaro Fest. That would be cool. Yeah. We'll have we'll have a day. We'll announce a day for everybody to wear it at the same time, and then you guys can come over to the tent, and we'll take a picture with Scott. Yes, I think it would be so cool if we got everyone that gets a shirt um, at Camaro Fest to take a picture with Scott. And his shirt, because it's not it's not our shirt. We're just representing. Um, it's it's his shirt, so it's pretty cool. Uh, ch- 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 um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Empty. Empty. My tea and empty. All right, we got 17 votes in, and the cotton tee is still holding its own. Uh, 53% over the dry fit at 47. Again, we're, we'll we'll talk to our guy, and if we can do both at the same time uh, to, get, to get the 50 out, we will certainly let you know. But this is something that we've been working on for a little while. Um, clearly, we wanted to make sure it was done right, and again, Scott gave us the okay. So, But we, that's why we made, made him one special one. The front of his shirt's embroidered. With our logo, and then the back is 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 printed on. So, but he wore it two two days in a row, and we do appreciate it. Um, what else about Camaro? What do you think? I don't know. Shows are coming up. Um, we gave you a list of shows. Every show that we're pretty much going to, Scott's pretty much going to. Um, so you got even going to a few or not. He is going to a few that we're not. Um, so Camaro Fest, obviously, we're all going to be there. Uh, Camaro Nationals in Morgantown, PA, we're all going to be there. <clears throat> Charles, hard to wait. I hope I can get Motor City on the back. Um, not hmm. of these. Not at, the back yeah, is the back is is Scott's logo. Scott's logo. Scott's thingy. 
That's the back. That's the back of the shirt. Will there be a video on Scott's collection? <laughs> um, Scott's collection is not all together. So I'm not going to say where his, his collection is, but um, all of his, his cars are not all together. Um, once car season ends, we already talked to him. Um, obviously, we're going to do a video about Thor, which is his, um, his baby. CPT car, which was his concept car um much if you heard the video he was shocked to be able to get that car um because he turned that so what happens with the concept cars and the test fleet uh so these cars are driven before the, um it, they are sellable to the public because they want to get all the kinks out of them they want to make sure everything is good and then once once the engineers turn in the cars they get scrapped all the cars get destroyed, <laughs> scrapped. Um, they're not sellable. Uh, some of them go to, you know, GM archives and to the historical museums. Um, but most of the cars do get scrapped. Uh, fortunately, um, yes, Keith. You heard Scott's talking ab about his car. Uh, he didn't know he was getting it, um, <laughs> and then he got the car. Uh, you know, obviously he had to purchase it um, from General Motors, and then. They just don't give cars away for free, even if you work for the team. Uh, you do have to purchase the car still. Um, and then the car became, then he sold the car. Um, and then he was fortunate enough to get the car back, um, you know, years later down the road, which I don't know, it was like five, six year, years ago, he purchased the car back. Um, don't quote me on the years, but. Uh, he was able to get the car back, and he, I, think, I think he said he only had 29,000 miles on it. Yeah, yeah, I was shocked. I was like, damn, man. He tells He's... the story in one of the videos. Yeah. Actually, in a couple of our videos. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for, I forgot. Does God say the last camera I was going to the Heritage I Museum? That. Yes. Okay. Uh, I thought that was on the front. I goofed and that's got oh, the Camaro Cave in front. Yeah, the Camaro Cave with little small logos on the front and then the big logos on the back. Um, love the Thor story. Yeah, so we're, we'll do that. And then we, re, you know, it's funny if you guys watched our live with Scott, um, his cousin, Tom Henry, called into <laughs> the live because he was watching. Um, and, and uh, his weasel, his weasel, weasel his cousin. Weasel cousin. Yeah, no, 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 they're so funny. Tom Henry is awesome. Um, but we, so we're going to be doing do to each other. It is. We're going to be doing a live with Tom. We do. We, we definitely going to check out his collection. I don't know if you saw the video we did of his collection, um, <laughs> but he, he, them two together, which we, I, I look forward to doing a video with both of them because they just go at each other. It's just oh like, just like a, you know sibling rivalry which is nice it's gonna be crazy um but you know they're both diehard chevrolet diehard camaro um and they have plenty of them in their collection so um it'll be nice to do a, a video with both of them um, the cool things about the C ctf they sometimes come with things not necessarily in production versions 100 100 mark so what's what's cool about scott's um car is that it came with pre-production mirrors. So the mirrors on the car, which have been replaced now, uh, are not the car, not the mirrors that came with the car originally. So the side mirrors, also the rear window mirror. Uh, so the your rear, rear window, you know, hanging hanging inside rear view rear view yeah. mirror, yeah, was different than what's in the car right now. Also, <laughs> the doors on the door panels. So this is before they decided to do the light, ambient lighting. Um, so his car it does not have the ambient lighting. So it might be it's a two SS, but it has has like cloth uh, on the doors, which is totally different than what's on the production cars. Um, also, uh, his wheels, his wheels, which he's getting redone. Um, his wheels are were not the actual color of the wheels uh, that came out to production. So he has one-offs uh, of the color of his rims. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I saw Thor for the first time at Camaro Fest last summer. I think it's cool how he had 
So many people signed the car. So yeah, so everyone that sees Scott asked for his signature. Um, so what he wanted to do was give something back. So everybody that sees his car, he asked them to sign his car, which is pretty awesome. We've both signed Thor, um, and he's clearly signed all of our cars, uh, except except our well, our Bagheera, um, which we hope to be one of the first people to he signs <laughs> the car. That's like. One of my main goals. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't bring the collector's edition to him this past weekend just because the weather was not great. Uh, good thing we didn't, too, because on the way home, it got a little dusty. Um, but that, that is something that, you know, we he we asked him to sign our cars and for him to have us sign his car and have like a legacy on his car that lasts forever. I mean, he has to have thousands of signatures on his car underneath the hood, uh, inside on the trunk. What? Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, Tom and Scott live would be comedy. Oh, straight comedy. Did you get my email about the Garage 6 edition on eBay for two hundred fifty forty nine thousand? Yes, we, yes did. we did. We do appreciate that. Um, we haven't posted <clears throat> anything about it. Um, just been that a, was little, a little busy. Insanity. That's crazy, but not. Honestly, it's it's not really crazy anymore because these Garage 56 cars are going for some nuts numbers. Um, and they're doing Barrett Jackson is doing one. I just posted about it um, what, about an hour ago. Um, they're doing one between April 18th and actually, just let me grab my phone because I can tell you exactly and I can show you. Um, actually, you know what? I can show you guys live here so you can see it. And I'll just show you what I shared uh, to make it easier for you. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here's what here's what I shared. And I'll go right to Barrett Jackson because they shared it. Here we go. Which is crazy because these cars are just going for some serious numbers. Um, and here we are on the post. Let's share it with you guys. <clears throat> so as you can see right here, Barrett Jackson, NASCAR style, spec and style, the 24 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 is one of 56 Garage 56 Special Edition examples produced to commemorate the NASCAR spec Camaro ZL1 race car uh, for the 20, 23 running of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Uh, as you can read here, there's there'll be no reserve at Palm Beach auction April 18th to the 20th. So, and then you can see the pictures of the cars, which I'll just go through real quick. Which the car is not complete. You guys know we talk about this many times. Uh, the car is not complete. Uh, there is a lot of vinyl decals missing on the car. Obviously, Hendrix Motorsports, the whole back, which I mean, at least the wing they did. Finally, so it's got the winglets on the sides here. It's got the uh, dovetail spoiler uh, with the wicker bell. So that's complete. But on the wing itself, there, it does say 24 hours Le Mans. But as you can see, it's not done here. Obviously, a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, uh, 650 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque. Plus, right underneath this little uh, conduit, there's actually the builder's name that built the LT4 engine. Which is cool. Uh, I wish they did that on the regular LT ones. Um, this is special. Obviously, you know it does come with the carbon fiber dash. But as you can see here, not a lot of people even know it. It does have the um, nightfall. What are they called, baby? Dark, dark night spears. Yes, the dark night spears. Right there. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Does have the dark night spears uh, screen black? Oh, can you guys see me? Uh, no pick, just a black screen. Don't see it really. Huh. Okay. Let's just. Can you guys see it now? Can you guys see it now? Now we can. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Back on. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, if you can, if you guys can see this, 
Uh, it's clearly going through the pictures. Um, this is the auction of Barrett Jackson. Of the cars, those are the black Dark Knight aluminum door spears that were supposed to be in the Panther editions. Um, only the higher models, obviously ZL1s and 2SS. So it's kind of cool. Again, doesn't have all the vinyls on the side, guys, but... It is not showing that screen. Oh. Let me go back to the actual actual screen itself. Here we go. Let's do it this way. See if we can share this, share the screen. So it's going through the pictures at Barrett Jackson. Obviously, the beginning of the car. Go back to screen. It's not letting me do this. Can you guys see this? Nope. There you go. All right, so it's go, going through here. It tells you the VIN number, everything. Dark aluminum door spears. <clears throat> yeah, but they're, I mean, it's going, if no reserve on this car, I wouldn't be surprised if this car hits over $300,000. Um, just the way things are going. Um, it, just, it just goes to show you, like, if that car is going to go for that, amount of money right now of course they're all 56 cars or, or manual by the way um what is what's the car going to go for in 10 years uh especially if camaro does not come back um and these were clearly the last cars um i know you keep seeing pictures of like and links of people are like oh check out the new camaro suv uh electric suv all fake mm -hmm. there is no camaro electric suv um there's not going to be a camaro at electric suv um they they already have one it's called the blazer ev so why would they make another one um now of course gm is go is targeting more hybrids now because that's what the market is asking for um but they're still making some electric vehicles obviously you got the equinox ev blazer ev uh the silverado ev um and i'm sure they're going to make more but does uh, see there's the wicker bell and now across it's supposed to say 24 hours of Le Mans. Um, but because the vehicle is not complete, uh, the owner of the vehicle gets to decide what vinyl they want on the car. So that's why the vehicle is not complete. Because the owner gets to choose one of three packages to add to the vehicle. Yep, what they should have done hybrids, 100%. Toyota is... Toyota keeps making news. Actually, if you watch the video we dropped today of Tom Henry, Tom, I, I posted it on my Facebook. Tom Henry did a video today about Toyota and Toyota coming out and saying they're not doing all electric. They're not committing to all an all electric future. And they are the number one automaker in the world now. So they have surpassed General Motors in that. And they come out came out today and said they're not doing all electric. Um, and they refuse to, which makes sense, um, because okay. it's not doable. Um, fortunately, uh, Mary and General Motors decided to make a unattainable reach for some of these electric cars. They say they and except what Biden just did, uh, the Biden administration today came out and says that they want 50% of new car sales to be electric. Um, so hopefully this tells people to stop voting for one side. Um, but I'm not here to get into politics. I'm just telling you and reporting the news. But that's what happened today. Uh, the current administration came out and said they want 50% of new vehicles to be electric. And it's not obtainable when almost 75% of the country lives in apartment complexes and condos. Uh, Kind of crazy, guys. Kind of. Let us know what you think in the comments, too. Also, we got 18 votes here. The cotton tea is, is taken off. Um, it's 56% when the dry fits 44%. So keep that in mind. If you haven't voted, hit that poll, guys. Hit that poll. Uh, yep, that's it for the Garage 56 edition. Of course, we'll get that down off the screen here. 
There we go. But yeah. <clears throat> Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, if you guys ever want to reach out to us, clearly we're, we're reachable. Um, send us an email, the Camaro Cave, not Camaro Cave, the Camaro Cave at gmail.com. We would love to share your vehicles, or if you want us to try to come do an interview with you in your car, we would love to hear your Camaro story. That's what this whole channel was made for. Um, so let us know where you are. And on our journeys, clearly we travel. Um, we will stop and see your car, uh, just like we did Sean's. Um, he reached out to us, emailed us a couple times, um, and we literally made mm -hmm. time for him on our way home to check out his ride, um, chat with him, and share the car. Look at look at her learning. Uh, I'm hands free over here. She did that real quick. Oh, plus check out her sweatshirt, by the way. Like it's your sweatshirt, actually. I've tried one, one of them. Doesn't matter. I don't have ownership anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's re that's really cool. Um, my brother's girlfriend got her, got us the other sweatshirts. So came mine, up, came I think, it's in a circle. Yes, yours is a circle. Mine's in a line. Yep, just like that with the stars. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, wow. So there's a lot of additions now for Camaro. Uh, I already noticed and want one. <laughs> it was a present. So I think we did figure out where they came from, though. And I don't remember. It wasn't Amazon. No. We'll figure it out. Oh, we'll for people ju out. just joining, too, if y'all see my, uh, my anniversary gift, you know, let me just take it off. Of the Camaro Collector's Edition Leather Wristband. With the Camaro Camaro Panther on it, stainless steel, of course. Um, but Tony got me that. Uh, is that an Etsy? No, I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think it was Etsy. <clears throat> it was a, for Christmas, so we'll have to figure out where she got it. We'll ask her. <clears throat> but yeah, so. Whoops, sorry. Need a list of all the different current editions. There we go. And then, clearly, a little clasp. Boop. Just like that. Oops. Going back. Oops. Yep. There you go. Just like that. Collector's edition. So I was. Pre I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> not enough places to charge them 100 percent, keith um we're, i mean we're in an apartment complex here on the third floor so there's like at least 100 people here um but no charging stations at all what, so I'm supposed to the row and extension cord huh yeah but that's that's you know three-fourths of america or four or five over the balcony. Especially in cities. Where are these cities going to charge? Like if you're on the 20th floor in an apartment complex in New York City, where are you charging your vehicle? Uh, Etsy has the circle on. Nice. I just got home from the ER <clears throat> to take my sister Camara BFF to see about her. Ooh, that's not good. Sorry to hear that, Jan. And thanks for joining us. Is he okay? That's no fun. No, no fun at I all. I have experienced that myself. You be voting on if you want a cotton tea or a dry fit tea. Um, uh, clearly dry fit. This is what they're all going to look like. You want to hold it up, maybe? I don't want to cover your face. Hmm. Whoop, whoop. And then, of course, we got the cotton tea. But I mean, they both look the same. You're gonna have the Camaro logo on the front, and Camaro Cave logo on the front. Which let me just I can get you right there. And those have the, those have the Panther in it too. So and then, of course, Scott's Scott's saying and emblem on the back. <coughs> Most parking garages in New York City do not allow EVs. 100%. And it's only going to get more. Most parking garages all over the United States don't now. 
Plus, we, we they don't even talk about how it's affecting the roads and bridges. Uh, first car sh show for me is April 6th. I'm ready for the car show season. 100%. Nice, snail. Nice. 100%. 100%. Not, we're, uh, not for us. No. Can't I, get rid of the snow. I know. We just need nicer weather here for sure, just so we can start driving our, our, our freaking cars. But it is 30 <laughs> degrees today. So... And the whole rest of the week does not look any better. Uh, all right. Well, we got 18 votes in here. We got 25 people watching. The cotton tea is still holding strong. If you haven't voted, vote. Um, and, of course, again, we do need 50 shirts. Um, so we need to make 50 of them. We need to sell 50 of them. Um, we'll be going about what, what pricing is um, here in the coming week. Um, so there's that. Uh, want hot aqua or magenta drive fit? I don't want to wear white tea. Where, so we, we we talked about doing gray, um, and we'll we will do a um, test run on the gray. Um, link to sweatshirts. Uh, it's twenty twenty four and got a foot. Oof! You got a foot of snow in two days. Wow! That's that's where that storm was going because it was going up towards Canada. Does the V6 Camaro automatic have cylinder deactivation? If it's a sixth gen, uh, if it's an old, if it's a fifth gen, it does not. Um, the sixth gen does. Good night. I have to get up early tomorrow. Thanks, Linda, for joining. Uh, pollen time starting here in GA. Wow, really? That's. Uh, I wish it was pollen time here, except her allergies are ad it acting up. Was when it hit those high temps, and our stuff is already starting to bud, and that's gonna all die because mm. the cold. But yeah, yeah, because you were sneezing a little <laughs> bit. Night rock, night rock. Thanks for joining. Yeah, Jan, um, you missed that. We we talked about girl parts and stuff like that for the white shirts, and um, I think we made the decision to since it all has to be one color, we're gonna go with a light gray. <clears throat> Athletic gray is pretty cool. Pollen here in VA as well. Cool. So I, I I know when people order these shirts, people are gonna get more than one. Um, so we do appreciate it in advance. And uh, I mean that, that that's how we're gonna get to numbers. Obviously, clearly we're gonna be ordering some for ourselves. We do hope to have some at shows too. Um, so if we do order more than fifty, um, we could st we want to be able to sell it to you guys if you're at a show and you didn't get one. Um, so that's something. But we're not gonna be we are trying to do these on request so that we get the right sizes for you. Now, what size did you, did you wear? So uh, also for like women, like I know the different sizes. Yeah. These are going to be men's most likely they're going to be men's. So like for me and the girls, if I'm in a woman's shirt, I need an extra large. If I'm in a men's shirt, I need a large. So keep that in mind, ladies, when you are trying to get the girls into the shirt. It's not going to be a girls fit shirt. So if you normally have to get a bigger size in, in a girl's shirt to get into this, don't order a big, huge shirt or you're going to be wearing a dress. <clears throat> These are going to be men's sizes. Like we said, we're, you know, we're having to get a lot made. Um, so it's, you know, all or nothing. It's all female shirts or all male shirts. And in order for us to get to that 50, we're just going to do it in all male, which means girls are going to be rocking a men's shirt, which so what, who cares? Um, so just keep that in mind. So, um, if you're super, super tiny and petite, then, yeah, then it, go with a small and you're just going to have to. You're just going to have to wear it a little big, but <clears throat> not a big deal. But anywho, that's kind of where we're going to go with those. And then, um, you know, we're still new at this. These aren't campaigns for us to make any money or any of that. We're just doing this to get the shirts out there and get the, the message on the shirts spread out and around. So <clears throat> Andy was yelling at me the other day because 
he's he's like, I don't want to use the, uh, the spreadsheet thing because that's that's just the, it's not the best. This is a better quality shirt, and they're gonna. The, he's just going nuts. So we're gonna try it this way and see how this works. And car season's coming, so we can you know actually take them out with us. So if you guys are gonna see us. <clears throat> You can pick your shorts up from us uh, at one of the shows or we'll just charge you a little bit extra for the shipping if we ship it to you. Um, I was looking at the shipping and we can do like the priority envelopes and, you know, jam two or three shirts in, a, in an envelope in one of those little bubble envelopes and ship it, you know, doesn't matter if you ship 10 pounds or two pounds, it's, they're going to charge you the same amount of money. So if we, if you order, as long as they fit in there, if you order one shirt or you order three shirts, as long as they all get in that same little box or the same little envelope, it won't cost any different. So we'll see how that goes. Um, otherwise, if you're at one of the first shows we're at, then pick it up when you get to the show and we'll, we'll just throw it in the trunk of whichever car we're taking and you can pick it up from us that way. Uh, gotta get our tribe colors. I don't think we really, I mean, I guess our tribe color is red, white, and black because it's a cave, but... Um, we weren't really, we were just, we were just trying to get it onto a shirt, one that lady parts don't stick through, and we're just trying to, trying to do this so that it's, uh, I guess, feasible to wear and, and, you know, inexpensive, so. <clears throat> So David wants David Lowe wants to know, did you hear about the OnStar stuff from Chevy selling your info to insurance companies? He did. Yeah, <laughs> he's no, he's not sneaking a cheeseburger and fries in the kitchen. <clears throat> he is now in the kitchen though. What are you doing in the kitchen, babe? Tea, baby, tea. Uh, he went to the little boys' room first, but he's now getting tea. <clears throat> um, baby, what is this about the OnStar? Is this what we were talking about with Scott the other day? We have GM, GM selling our information to insurance companies. Well, yeah, I just said that, but like, what about it? Without telling us, yes. Without telling us? Correct. So how are they doing this? Why are they doing this? It's a good question, babe. It's a good question. So this has been going on for a minute, though, hasn't it? Yeah, people, it's like going on for years, basically. <clears throat> I think the newest thing that I, I don't think it's been, the newest thing that I heard was that that whole system was, but that's not OnStar. That was something else. That whole mm -hmm. system was they could control your car. Like if you didn't make your payment, they could just shut your car down and make it so that you couldn't start. Talking about that with electric cars, yes, that's that's could be a thing. Well, they were talking about it without the electric cars too, weren't they? <clears throat> do we have anything to give away? Yeah, it's all in the closet. Oh. Look at that. <clears throat> all the colors. Um, OnStar, another reason to own a legacy product. AKA a fifth gen. That's why fifth gens rule no 
no on star anymore. Well, yeah, because it's it's not compatible with the uh, the new. Um, yeah, the on star doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore. So sad. I'm with you, David. Fifth gen is next on my list. Z28, of course. That's why I'll stick with a fifth gen. No sixth gen for me. Sean, I'm right. I'm right here. No, I, I wish I had a cheeseburger with fries. With fries right now, because I don't know if you if you caught it. We're fasting. We haven't eaten anything all day. Um, don't recommend it. I am hungry. Um, For the fourth gen, you don't have to worry about any of the tech stuff. It's very true. I do miss my oh, oh, oh the poll just changed. We got twenty votes in, oh, and we're 50, 50, 50 now between the dry fit and cotton guys. Oh. Wow, that just jumped up real quick. If you haven't, if you haven't done the, done the poll, please do. Um, so far, we got twenty votes in, twenty three people watching. So uh, Andy, you have to agree to put the dongle in your car, though. But what did we we saw something where the insurance companies can do that without? I know, I know. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm trying to pull something up for you guys. Here we go. Yep, this is what I'm trying to pull up. Pull up. So, uh, if you guys don't know or if you're just tuning in, we dropped the 24 finish line edition that was reserved to the Middle East. Uh, I know, because I'm not doing it yet. So, I'm going to click on this <coughs> here. And we'll show you exactly. Um, boom. Finish line. So this is this is pretty cool. <laughs> David wants to know if you saw the picture of the pizza he put up early. I did not. So this is a – Jim Authority posted this earlier today um, based on our story. As you can see, the Camaro Cave has uncovered another special edition. If you guys can see that. Yeah, pretty cool that that we're, we're, we're making news. Um, and we do appreciate them checking it out. Uh, Z01s are nice too, David. Yep. Cotton too hot for me, Jan said. Well, we're, what we're going to do, Jan, we're going to try to do 50-50. We're going to talk to our guy, uh, see if we can do 50-50. Um, so at least 25 dry fit, 25 cotton. Um, but I will do – if you guys follow us, the way we're going to do, do this, I believe, if you guys follow us on Facebook, um, you have to just add us as a friend on Facebook at the Camaro Cave. We have our own Facebook page. We're going to put an actual thing on there. So let us know how much you want, the size uh, that, that you want, and if you want dry fit or cotton and – we will add, we will add them up, and once we hit fifty, um, we'll, we'll get we'll get them printed for you guys. So if you if you didn't check us out, uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna just go to our Facebook page here, so you guys can you guys can see it, so you guys can join us. Here we go, and I'll show that off as well for you guys. The Camaro Cave. Drop that. We're gonna drop that, and we're back. And then here we go. <clears throat> we'll share the Facebook page. That's, this is this is our Facebook page here, the Camaro Cave. We only got two, well, 961 friends on the Camaro Cave here. So this is where we post everything. This is where the the, the next thing is gonna go. Black, black. Oh, we're black. Really? Black. There we go. So that is our thing. Uh, here we go. Let's just scroll up here. This is our page. But we try to post everything here first, and we, we clearly post it on our community tab as well. Um, so just let us know. Send us an email, too, of what you want. We'll add it. Um, email. Oh, we got 22 votes. The cotton tea is taking off 55%. Versus forty five percent dry fit. 
uh, for the F Bod Father t shirt. Again, uh, printed on both sides, too, guys. So we're trying to get you the best quality. Can only if you let them go to hell. Well, well, guys, we are uh, our battery's running out tonight, so we got what ten percent battery left. So we're gonna be on here for only a couple more minutes, and uh, we'll say we'll say good night here in a couple minutes. We're been on here for a little over an hour, um, but let us know what you guys want else if you guys want to see. We are here. Uh, this is an option to opt out. Data being collected and sold to third parties. Yep, 100%. So crazy. It is crazy what's going on. It's cool how you guys get all the information first. We try. We try, Keith. I'm not really sure how this is happening, but people are sending stuff our way. So um, we we try to weed through it and see how much of it is valid and how much of it is not. And then we just run with it, bring it to you guys. Mm -hmm. But it's it's viewers. It's it's you guys that is getting a lot of it to us. And then him, he's he's always out there trolling. We try. We we try to bring you guys the the most information. Jan oh. wants to know if girls. One more tomorrow. week, Jan. One more week. Every other week. Good night, Mark. Thanks for coming. Good night, Mark. Thanks for all the great content and much love to you both. We appreciate that, David. And thanks so much for being thanks, being one Dave. of our cave dwellers. Uh, we could we couldn't do it without you guys. Um, I said this channel wasn't made to make money or. Um, you know, for our personal use, we're trying to keep the brand alive, even with the car going away. Um, so it's just something we appreciate you guys sticking with us on. Um, and we'll keep making new content. I you know we, we clearly we got four Camaros to make content on. So, um, but we're not going to go Lots away from it. We're not, we're not, um, one of these channels we're where start banging down Hendrix store to see if we can get in there. Yeah. That's gotta be a, a next thing. We 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 want to go to Hendrix. We want to do a tour of his museum. Um, <clears throat> look on on the fast. Thanks, appreciate it, David. Have a good night. Night, uh, everybody. Night, good night, everyone. That's just, just signing off. But uh, thanks. See you, see you tomorrow, David. Okay, just checking. Do you do numbers for older generation cars, or are the numbers harder to come by? No, we can we can get the numbers. Those numbers, uh, Scott Suttlemeyer actually got all these numbers together up until 2017. So if you have an older car, um, he did post, he did collect all the data and post it on um, Camaro5.com um, and some of the information is on Camaro6. But if it's for an older generation, it's on Camaro5.com. Night, Greg. Thanks for joining. But we do appreciate you guys being here. We're gonna we're gonna sign off here tonight. Uh, tra charge my computer here. But we do appreciate you guys joining. And uh, if you didn't check out our Facebook page, add us as a friend, and we'll be doing the T-shirt so you guys can do them. Good night, Sean. Get them as soon as possible. Uh, Say hi to your wife, Sean. Yeah, let us know. We uh, appreciate it, Sean. Uh, but we're going to sign off here, guys. We really appreciate it. Yeah, John, let, uh, John, Jan, let me know what your results are. Thanks for supporting the channel, as always. And we got more coming. Stay tuned. Um, if you haven't liked us, please do. Um, tell your friends about us. We're here to stay. We're not going to. We're not one of these channels where we're going to say goodbye to Camaro just because their production ended. Um, so keep that in mind. If you like things Camaro, all things Camaro, we're not going anywhere. So. And apparently people want to hit, up, hit us up. So appreciate it, guys. Have a good night. And make make, make sure to wear your seatbelts, like Scott Settlemeyer says. And we'll see you on the next one. Later, Peace guys. Out.